Hello everyone, Brian and PS4 Trophies. We are in Chapter 4 of Uncharted Lost Legacy. You can see there on the map in the center and the bottom. And we are going to seek out our first of 11 Hoysala tokens. These tokens will allow you to obtain the Queen's Ruby and of course get the Yas Queen Trophy. So we're going to go drive up over here. You see that lockbox over there. That's where we're headed. You can see this marker over here to my right. This will indicate that a token is nearby. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, could be a chance update the map there and then we're gonna go climb up and then we're gonna have to grapple over to the opposite side now there are five consecutive grapple points here and we could swing with our l1 and there's a trophy called tarzana if you get five consecutive grapples without touching the ground this is where you'd want to do it however i already have the trophy thank god because i'm gonna be unsuccessful as i fall to my death so don't let that happen to you let that be a lesson so anyways, let's go ahead and get back up here. You're going to see there's a wall here. It's a weak wall that you can uh, destroy by throwing a grenade. So once you break that open, go inside of here, and there's our first of 11 tokens. You're going to get a trophy for finding the first one. Now, this queen's ruby is really nice because it's going to light up, and you're going to hear an audible chime when you're near a treasure. So once we get this, it's a bracelet. So you'll see uh, once we uh, get it, there's a little red light kind of that will light up when you're near Unfortunately, it's not going to help you find lockboxes, optional conversations, or photo opportunities. All right, so now we're going to travel a little further east, staying along the bottom of the map there. Same thing, another broken uh, or weak wall here. Use the marker just to the left of this opening. So climb in here, off to the right-hand side is the second token. Now we're going to continue counterclockwise around this entire map. So we're going to go a little further to the east along the uh, right-hand side of the map. And once we get up here, you're going to see the marker there to our left. We're going to have to actually do some grappling swings to get over from pillar to pillar. We'll get to the first pillar and then jump to the next one. So we're going to have to climb up here. Now you don't want to fall into the mud because you will just slide down. So you're going to have to swing and... I'm going to have to lift myself up a little bit, but then, all right, swing over. And then from here, jump to the next pillar. Again, stay out of the mud, otherwise you'll you'll fall down. Now here, you're not going to make it all the way to the platform, so you're going to have to jump into the mud and then quickly jump again. You got your little cave opening here, so let's go duck down. At the end of this, we will find the third token. went to a lot of trouble all right so number four you can see we're just a little west of where we just were this one's not too difficult this one we just have to climb to the top here walk across to this perch here and then we're gonna have to uh, hit l1 and grapple down below us and then jump off of this to the left hand side when we do that it'll lift the cover up and we are now free to jump down here and pick up the token All right, so number five is going to be a little uh, back to the east side, a little further north. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated because your door is gated there with those bars. Now, in order to open those bars, you have to shoot these bells. Now, you have to shoot these fast enough in quick succession in order to open all of them. Now, I'm not going to be successful here because I'm just staring, wondering what's going on. So I turn around. There's a whole bunch of bells out there. And we're going to then have to shoot them. The auto aim is going to make it a little easier. I put it on just for that. And then you see the first bell reset, so I had to hit that again. Now we have access in here to get the token. All right, so now we're going to be on the kind of the northeast here. And this, this when you come here for the first time, you interact with this little uh, display right in front of us. And what this is going to do is label your map with all the location of the tokens. It'll also open up the door here to the left-hand side where you're going to get a token as well. So your map is completely updated. Now we're going to go far west. Now this one's a little bit more complicated. There's a pretty tough puzzle element added into this one. So we're going to climb up into here. You can see the... 
it's barricaded. Now you have to solve this little horse dial puzzle. I am not going to show you the complete uh, how to solve this because it is kind of a lengthy. So in, in the essence of time here, I'm just going to solve it. If you do want to see a solution, I have a video of just this on my channel. So if you want to know exactly what steps are required to solve that puzzle, you can check out that video. Once you've solved that puzzle, gate's going to open, pick up the token. Another Hoysala token for my collection. And now we're going to head to number eight. This is a little further south from where we just were, kind of in the middle of the map. This one's very easy because all it is is just a single breakable wall, no puzzle elements at all. Hop in my pocket, little token. All right, so just a few more. Number nine, we're going to go to the eastern side or western side. And uh, we're going to see an elf, uh, I'm sorry, a, a lockbox here. This one is actually in the lockbox. The enemies nearby already found the token and they put it in the lockbox. So once you open that up, there's going to be a gun there. There's also a treasure. Make sure you pick up that treasure in addition to the token. Find escapers. All right, so now we're going to go to number 10. This one's by the elephant statue, the, the stone statue or the monument, or whatever you want to call it. We're going to be in the water, so right in front of the elephant there. You're going to see there's a, actually an entranceway, a little hole in the water that you can dive down into. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to go swim right over to the token's location. And you'll see it just ahead of us in just a moment. Waited hundreds of years for me to find you. Now the final one is in the center of the map by the big tall tower. This one's another timed puzzle, just like the bell sequence. So there's the marker, and then we're gonna go up and we're gonna trigger the event here. Now for this one, you gotta go swing over to these different uh, pillars here, and you just what you're looking for are these little water uh, sprouts here. And all you need to do is step on them, and it'll turn it off. So you're just going to have to go to each one of these. It is timed, but you don't have to be perfect, as I am clearly showing you. Number two. Get number three over here. We can just easily swing there. couple more over here and then there's one last one out there all right there you go if you've done that in time all you need to do is go back to uh, where we started and pick up the token. So that's all the token location. Now once you have all of them, we're gonna go back to the where the one was uh, in the northeast corner. And we're gonna insert those tokens into the map that was on the wall. Now doing that is going to give us the bracelet. First we gotta go, of course, go in here. And you have the monkey area just overhead. We're actually gonna be able to have access to that in just a moment. There's a photo opportunity, by the way, just to your right there. All right, so here's the map again. There was a token in the left side room there. And there's the bracelet. Now this uh, bracelet will be permanently on your character now for, uh, for the rest of the game, or if you come back in chapter, uh, select any of the earlier chapters, it'll help you find the treasure. The uh, little red gem on it will glow when you're, I don't know, maybe 50 feet or so uh, away from a treasure. You'll also hear an audible chime, and your light bar on your uh, DualShock 4 controller will, will help you guide to the exact location. And there's the Yas Queen trophy. So let's just go into the next area where the monkeys were. And you'll hear the chime. Your controller will vibrate as well. And there's three treasures here for you. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I want to thank PlayStation for providing a copy of Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up. You can check out either playlist for 
just regular trophy guides or if you're trying to find any of the collectibles. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.